Good morning, my friends, my viewers. It's Thursday evening and it will be posted Friday morning, a little bit earlier than normal. On Saturday, this coming Saturday, I will have Zoom at 6 p.m. my time, Alberta time, uh, 5 p.m. California time, and on East Coast it will be 8 uh, o'clock with Sibyl from Sibyl Harmony, C-I-B-Y-L Harmony. So please check her out. She is on YouTube and I'm looking forward for, the, for that new adventure. Oh, today was a day. All day there was uh, something that was captivating my interest on news. So I was stuck in the kitchen and watching my from from my living room the TV. A lot, a lot was going on, and the weather was not friendly to go outside. We had rain and rain two weeks already, and till the end of the uh, till. Saturday it's supposed to rain, maybe a little bit break, and then next week again. Okay, when I was listening to that, and the story with the uh, Jeffrey Clark that his home was raided, and he was the major player today in conversations in January 6th, I thought, no, no, that's not coincident. That's more than coincident. And then I thought, I don't think it's coincident that they are postponing for over two weeks or three weeks the next meeting. Something will be coming out to the surface and we will know. So it will be that the next meeting is in middle of July that they will, the committee will meet. And they were supposed to be more efficient. So I will pull three cards to see if I'm correct. Because it was just pure intuition that no one asked me that question. But I thought it has to be something that they want. I think the OJ is co in very much in cooperation with the committee. It's beneficial for both sides. Yeah, and they want to go after the dysfunctional family, so there will be probably some informations about those Republicans who are asking about pardon. So they, they are needy of each other, they lean on each other, symbol of leaning on something and surprises. Good. I'm glad to hear that. Jeffrey Clark didn't want to incriminate himself when he was testifying uh, with the community, uh, com January 6th community. So he was taking over 100 times the, the, uh, the fifth. So that shows that he was guilty. Even Trump said, only mafia people takes the fifth. And Cheryl sent me a link about federal authorities. Um, uh, they were doing the research, uh, search in home of uh, Justice Jeffrey Clark. What will come from this raid? And I saw him in the office chair and he is falling down. You know, if you are not careful and you are playing with the chair, you can end up on the floor. So that's what I have seen flipping backwards. That might mean that he will flip on Trump and they remove him from the home in his pyjama. And I thought, I, I hope that the pyjama has the stripes black and white or blue and white and he was ready for the prison. That's just my discretion. And I think he will be feeling like he's in a cage and the sharks are moving around him. So he thinks that he will be actually safer in a prison than outside. 
what will come out of, with that will he flip he's already thinking about this he's debating because he is really really worried and he's very sorry what he was doing he he's not a leader he is a follower and Cheryl asked me if he will flip. I think because of the vision that I have seen him flipping on the rock, uh, on the office chair, I believe that he will have. He wants to protect himself. He is kind of a loser who wants to go through the life, not the honest way. And there, uh, Cheryl wrote to me that there was. Uh, shutters that Trump had the gallows built under his supervision kind of the why no one is talking about this yes I started talking about this and I'm kind of infatuated with it I heard after me that Al Franken was talking and joking that we wouldn't be surprised if Trump was involved I will pull three cards if he was Oh, and I, when I closed my eyes before, I saw a woman talking on a self with him. So he had some information about those gallows. And so I believe he knew, maybe not officially, because it was not the, it was on self that woman was talking. Magician, that was his wish. Come out rabbit come out of my hat he was observer he was not a builder but he was observer and he was very careful so no one will trace him i think eventually everything will be coming like a magic and cheryl my girlfriend i wonder because we were texting today like crazy <laughs> i wonder how long it will take for fox fox news news in the bracket to move away from Trump with all this info coming with those information coming out and long time ago I saw a symbol of Trump to be like a big fish hanging in the Congress upside down the big fish is a tuna fish i i don't know if what i i was correcting because i didn't knew that the biggest ones are kind of the tuna fish and he fish when it, it started getting rotten it's usually from the head but when it's hanging in the coliseum in, in rotunda actually in the congress building it's smelly and i can't imagine that folks will be happy to to be involved with that subject eventually they will remove themselves to the the last room in the building so that's that was my vision long time ago and as well I said that I saw him testifying oh, at the first year probably and I said he has no he has umbrella but no fabric good for nothing the journey is getting harder and harder for Trump <laughs> the justice is watching him so what he put he will receive and people are so ignited to watch the, the fire behind the angel you see we we all are infatuated except the fox news they are they were talking how unlucky was um, harris throwing the ball because she tried about five times the fifth time she was lucky that's not her job and uh, and uh, Obama threw once and he missed and he was laughing at himself he didn't talk this so serious, serious but they want to make a big subject to be interested for people no but they don't want anyone to watch the 
CNN, or MNSBC, or other news who are talking about Trump. Ruby Richmond, thank you, Ruby. Why does it seem impossible for Trump to be indicted and charged with criminal charges in the justice system? Yeah, the scoop is going from the bottom to the top. We are just, he is on the iceberg, he is on the top. But you have to know the bottom of the iceberg so that the whole iceberg will sink. So we have to be patient. It's going slowly but surely. Eventually he will melt it. They have to build up the information for people so there will be no Protestants on the streets. But most people will know that he deserves to be in trouble. Right now, he has too many people on his side. They have to remove them with adding a hot water to the ocean and melting that iceberg. It takes time. We have to be patient, but... And the DOJ is afraid that there will be riots if he will be acting too fast, then everything will turn upside down and there will be a chaos in the country. So, yes, they have to make a lot of decisions at the, before they will be able to achieve the rules. The law is watching, and it's all about the security of people, angel of security. We have to learn to be patient. I know I'm not a patient person. I'm Leo. <laughs> Leos are never patient. No, I'm patient. <laughs> Actually, when I was painting the paintings behind me, I learned how patient I can be. I was so surprised. And I, I, when I was doing silversmithing, I was patient. When I was sewing, I was patient. But sometimes I'm impatient because that's my nature. Cheryl, again, thank you, Cheryl. <laughs> thank you, she was cooperating with me. And I have so many other questions, but I thought this one are more on the time today. Should Democrats rethink their view of the Supreme Court? Today, when the Supreme Court went opposite direction that everyone ex was expecting. When there is more crime on the streets, they let the New Yorker to go with the guns. It doesn't make too much sense. In Canada, at least Trudeau is trying to do shrink the, the amount of the weapons that are so damaging, so impossible to control even when there is confrontation with the police. So, and then they are saying, well, everyone should walk with the gun to the church, to the office, blah, blah, blah. I will send them to the Supreme Court. No, in Supreme Court you can't enter with the gun. So why they don't let that law to appeal to other people, I don't understand. And I saw Biden introducing, planning to introduce the someone for Supreme Court. That would be nice. That would be something that I see him taking away Justice Thomas and his wife. I saw both of them, like couple. So I know there are no other couples that are hitting on me when I'm thinking about Supreme Court, but when we are thinking about Supreme Court, Thomas and his wife are always coming on our minds together. So when I saw them, as a pair couple, man and woman, so I know it's about them. So it would be nice if somehow they will be removed because they deserve to be, especially when Jeannie will be testifying. Oh, I can't wait. It's all about her, queen of love. 
heal. They are sharing all the secrets and the money. And I bet there is trace of money coming from the rainbow, from the family of the Republicans. And, you know, they should check how much bigger is pocket of black man is coming to the court and uh, to the Supreme Court that was uh, not me but that was uh, what a White House senator talking about he was saying that there, there are black money coming and he's trying to fight that but there is impossible to fight that and Cheryl asked if he's uh, uh, if Biden is working behind the scenes and I saw him using the screwdriver. So that's the previous question was related to that. Sanda Dobrowitski, Polish name, did Margie Taylor Green and Bobet give recon recognitions to, towards before January C, uh, 6, and if so, will they be caught? I saw Margie Taylor Green standing behind the corner and kind of spying, like, is someone there? Like, when we were young, we were <laughs> checking the water if we can run and hide. So it is something that I believe that Taylor Green and I bet both of those women were involved because both of them wants to have pardon. For what? Excuse me. I behave so badly I have to have pardon. Or they both are worried. They were working so hard, and most people intuitively know why they were asking for pardons. Today that that information came out. And when I was asking about Biden, if he would be successful with the gun law in the Congress, I said that he would try to close the door, but there is some part of the door he can't close. That's probably the Supreme Court that today was making harder to make the closure. Because it looks like all the other cities will be applying for the same part of the law. And I don't know how many tourists Americans will lose because it is scary for foreigners to think about going to USA. I never thought that way before. I was always thinking I'm fine when I'm going to USA. But now it's kind of making you feel everyone is working with a gun and I will not have the gun because, of course, when you are crossing the border, you can't have it. And most of the Americans don't want to have gun. So what if someone will give me a gun? I wouldn't even know how to use it. I wouldn't be able to use it to shoot someone else, even in my own protection. Not everyone is wired that way that we can fight, especially with something, that kind of weapon that we can kill someone. L.I., what was the motivation of the Uvald shooter? It's hard to determine the root of his cause when the killer is dead and the authorities can't answer, can't question him. And I saw a friend that I had in Poland. Very nice guy. He was my neighbor in the same desk. We were sitting always in the same desk. He was the nicest boy in the class. I didn't have the clue that he can be a gay. So when I saw he, that as an answer, I thought, because 
in Poland we didn't knew that there are gays. That was never one was no one was talking about this. The adults were never talking to us and we never even thought about this. But now the kids knows. And I have the feeling that the, there was a lot of teasing and he hated so much. I don't know if he was even in that school because there are no information about this, but he hated the kids. Maybe the anger was still in him that he was uh, feeling always like a black sheep. Something triggered that anger, that resistance to, to yeah, I'm not trying to, to excuse him. Don't even think that way. But lack of acceptance is, it can be really bad thing. We have to accept everyone who they, who they are not, if they want to be straight, if they want to be gay, whatever. They are straight the way they were created by God. And we have to love them. I was very found. I loved my friend because uh, we were always competing who will draw better kind of models, Barbie dolls. We were always drawing. And I was copy him because he was far better than me. <sighs> he was the first boy that I kissed through the paper because I... I <laughs> We were playing bottle and I had to kiss some boys, so I took him. I knew he is the nicest one. So I took the paper. I said, now you can say that I kiss you, but remember I kiss you through the paper. It was just the way we were friends and there were some girls who were in love with him. They were jealous that I'm sitting with him in the same desk. But we were just like good girlfriends. So was that the reason why no one is born to be bad? It is that sometimes people are getting... He was feeling like he was in a cave. And when he uh, was adult, he get out. He was mentally sick. He's on another side. I, I don't want to be on his side because I, I know he did something extremely bad. And no one is telling us why. And that's what I have seen. So it's not that I'm... I, I pray for those little angels, those little kids who and the two teachers who are who lost their lives. Please don't take this against me that I'm explaining my way as a psychic why he did that. But we have to teach the kids to be nice to each other. Patricia Matias, will the chef of Uvalde police be investigated and his name is Peter or whatever. He got subpoena and not subpoena, he got suspended from his work. They are paying him, I don't understand why, but I I saw him when I was thinking about him, I saw a pickle jar of pickle. So I think he will be in trouble, maybe not yet, but eventually he will be. We have to... He wants to negotiate that he didn't knew that he was a chief because he was not officially named yet, but he was. And... So he, he, sh he shouldn't be taking that job if he knew that he can't protect the little children for 90 minutes. I'm not a doctor, but I'm giving you some remedies. I have to try this on me. And it's 
how to lose weight. I was wearing today a blouse with a dots, and I thought the blouse is the dots are instead round, they are sideways, oval. So I don't know how lucky I will be. But the drink is simple. You take one teaspoon of camomile, meal, dry camomile, meal, one teaspoon of rosemary, and one teaspoon of um, tamarack. No, tame, 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 T A M E, uh, tame camomile, and you make uh, you boil them in a tree, put them in a cold water, in a, a three, uh, three glasses of water in a, a pot. Cook this for five to 10 minutes. It's better to up to 10 minutes on very slow heat, low, low heat, and or slow uh, on the, uh, you know, but on the low heat. And uh, when they are ready, take the, the juice, uh, sift, sift the juice separately, add cut lemon in half and squeeze the, the juice from the lemon, mix this together, wait for about half an hour or whatever, and divide this in three cups. Every day drink one cup, for, so it will be for three cups. So the other two cups live in the fridge. And apparently that will take the job from me to being hard on, but chamomile is apparently not making you feel like eating, dissolving my appetite. And uh, I wish, because I have a very sweet tooth. So see you next time. Oh, prayers. We want to pray for the souls of those little kids who lost their lives. For, for miracles that there will be no more massacres like that, that people will stay safe, that there will be some way of checking the, the who is getting the, the guns and that the guns wouldn't get in the bad people's hands. For Navalny, for Zelensky, for all the people who need the, our prayers, for the sick and the poor and vulnerable. I love you guys. See you next time. And remember, Saturday I will have a reading with Sibyl. Uh, Sibyl and Sibyl from Sibyl Harmony. Okay, see you next time. Bye bye.